All right, y'all. So Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. What can we say about this? What can we say about this? And why did we have such a drastic drop to the downside? I kind of want to walk through what happened from the time we put in the low at 39.5 thousand to the high that we put in today and this drastic drop. Now, first of all, I want to point out why we got such a big move to the downside. We can see that since yesterday, which was the 12th of January, Bitcoin was trading in this little consolidation period. And whenever we trade sideways in a consolidation period, what tends to happen is we put in a little range where we have a very clear low and we have a very clear high. Now, a lot of people wait for a breakout to happen because this looks like a bull flag and they think when we break above the resistance, we will see a bigger breakout to the upside. However, we can identify a fake out by looking at our indicators. Market Cipher B, we can see right here that as we are forming this range, when we come up to take out the previous high, we can see the money flow and the momentum waves coming down. In addition to that, if we go to the 12 minute time frame here, we can see that when we're putting in that high, the RSIs are so close together. This is usually a sign that we are going to get what is called a chicken's drinking water trade setup. What is a chicken's drinking water trade setup? A chicken's drinking water trade setup is another word for a fake out. And the way you can identify a fake out is number one, if you are looking at a chart and you see a previous high that has been put in, such as right here. And then you see that we have come to take out that high. And then the candle then closes below that high. That means the chickens are drinking water. And it's usually a sign that this is a fake out and we're going to come back down at least to the previous low. And the reason why it's called a chickens drinking water trade setup is because the price is a chicken's beak. And this white line is actually the water. In fact, we can go to a website called www.youtube.com. And if we search for chickens drinking water, chickens, we don't even have to say drinking water. We can just say chickens, dr oh, there we go, chickens drinking water. Okay. We can see here that if we look the way a chicken drinks water, the hen will take her head and she will dip it down into the water right here. Watch what the hen does. Dip it down real quick and then really fast, she brings her head up and laps it up. And again, the price is the chicken's beak. The water is the previous high. And watch what she does. Her beak is the price. She dips it in, fake out, lifts it up, drinks it up, back down to the low of the range. And so that's exactly what we saw today. And I want to just show you, you know, when this, ha and this happens all the time. In fact, there was a very juicy short that we took in the Jason Casper Discord. In fact, we were looking for downside this morning, entering short positions this morning because this happens. And so there have been many times in the past, for example, um, the most recent one was over here where we were looking for price to do just what we were saying, okay? Um, let's take a look here. That was take profit one. The setup in advance, we knew right here that the chickens could drink from here. We're watching the bearish divergences form. The trade setup is given in advance. We get our entry right here. Boom, we come down. And I'm actually still in the short position, guys. It's up about 800% in profits right now. And um, that is how you are going to do it. So by the way, if you do want to get into the Discord, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Jason Casper. Also, if you want to learn how to trade like this and find these juicy setups, you can go to jasoncaspertrading.com. This course will give you the knowledge and the skills you need to become a confident, profitable trader, teaching you five profit-taking strategies that you can learn in 90 days, guys. There's a lot of information in here. If you stick to it, you can learn a lot. It's a very good amount of information, amount of information for the price. Check out the testimonials here, guys, teaching you everything you need to know from technical analysis to trading strategies to risk management. Currently a 20% discount in the description. So what happened after we got that chickens drinking water trade set up? Well, we came down and we are currently finding support on support number one. What is support number one? Support number one, if we zoom out here, is actually going to be the value area high of the previous little range that we were trading sideways in before we broke out to the upside. If Bitcoin is unable to hold above this important level of about 42.3, then we have a very important support at this high volume node down here at about 41.9. If we lose 41.9, the next major area of support is going to be around 40,000 
500. And if we lose that, then I will be looking to lower levels. And basically, I am still in a long position from this area. And the reason for that is because we came down to this very, very key box of support. This very key box of support, this is an area that we have been looking for for a very long time. The reason is because during this basic chunk of price action here, there's a lot of reasons why, but we have this major box of support. Currently am long from that area. If we go to the Bitcoin trade swing trade setup, this is the swing trade that we were looking for to long right from this level, taking out these lows, coming down to that important box. Currently am long from there right now. And that trade is up in some pretty juicy profits right now. Um, so what do I think is going to happen here? Well, there's a few things. First of all, we do have this falling wedge. And a falling wedge is a bullish pattern. Okay, Falling wedge is a bullish pattern. And I am not going to get bearish on Bitcoin unless, even if we come down more, unless we lose this green box. And the reason for that is because on Market Cipher B, on the daily time frame, we can see that we are getting bullish divergences where the momentum is coming higher as the price is consolidating in this bullish pattern. And so even if we come down farther into the box, I would still not be surprised if we get another move to the upside. And my major target, okay, I have lots of targets along the way up in the VIP Discord. We go over all those exact levels. We're always scalping and day trading in there. A great team of traders in there, guys. We have some really good traders in there posting the juiciest trade setups and the juiciest technical analysis. It's a great community. But what we have is potentially, even if we come down lower, we could still be forming these bullish divergences. If we see momentum continuing to come up as the price even takes out this low that we put in at 39.5 ish, it's still bullish to me as long as momentum is coming up on the daily time frame. Okay, now why is 57,000 such an important resistance? It's because if we take the target of the wedge and we break out, we can see that it is going to come right around to that area, which would not only be a very high volume node, but it's also the golden pocket retracement from the all-time high to the potential low that we could put in. Now, something else that I see here that is bullish is this, okay? We do have, if we go down to a lower time frame, maybe the four hour time frame here, we do have a potential, a potential bump and run pattern, okay? A bump and run pattern, let me zoom in right here. What is a bump and run pattern? A bump and run pattern, you can Google this, is where we have a diagonal resistance and you can see that we will bump into it once, twice, three times, and then we'll come down, have a curved bottom, break out of the resistance, come back for a retest, and then come in to put in a new high. Now we can see right here that we did break out indeed yesterday from this potential bump and run pattern. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here so that we can see. And we can also see that we have a very, very important support coming in right in this green box where we have some intersectionality between the trend line and this high volume node. Now again, if I put on the levels from earlier, we can see that this high volume node is a very important support. If we lose this $4,200 level, that is the next major area of support. So definitely be looking out for a potential bounce from there because it does give us some intersectionality. Now the problem with this is this white line right here is very fragile. If we lose this white line, we will see the fragility, the white fragility of this line, and we will probably come down lower. So this is really, in my mind, a make it or break it line. If we don't hold this important support, we will probably come down lower to some of these lower areas. And if we come down to those lower areas, I am absolutely, first of all, this bump and run will be invalidated. If we do bounce here, it's very possible that we do come up higher. But if we do come down lower, I will be looking back down to that important green box, okay? That important green box that is right down here. Now, it's a pretty big range, and there's a lot of different levels in here that we're looking for. But why do I maintain a bullish sentiment, even though we are getting a pretty significant move to the downside? It is because, guys, money flow is coming up, momentum is coming up, and we're at key support, okay? Until we lose this key support, I'm going to be looking for support at support. And if we lose support, then I'll say, oh, we lost the support. Let's look down to the next major area of support. Now, where would the next major area of support be? If we do continue in the downtrend, which we are clearly in from the all-time high to the low, to the lower high, to the lower low, to the lower high, to the lower low, to the lower high, to the lower low. If this is just a lower high and we put in a lower low, where can we look for support? Well, there's quite a few areas, guys, but the most notable in my mind would be the Fibonacci retracement 
from the dump of the Roni Kimoni, which happened in March 2020, to the all-time high. And we can see that that golden pocket retracement is coming in just underneath 20, the, the, the high 20s. Okay, the high 20s is definitely a major area of support. So these are the levels to keep your eyes out for, guys. If you made, if you liked the video, make sure to like the video. If you got anything out of this, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, guys. And I'll see you all in the next video. God bless and peace.